Hello, friends. What a joy it is to be able to come back into your presence today to share a thought from the precious Word of God. Today, I want to uh, speak to you about choices that we make in life. Uh, in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 7, verse 13 and 14, our Lord is speaking, and Jesus said, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many there be that go in thereat. But then he goes on to say, straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leads unto life, and few there be that find it. I don't know about you, but I want to be numbered in the few. I want to find the straight and narrow way that leads to everlasting life. Now, I want to talk to you just a few moments today uh, about choices relating to how we do and then choices relating to being what we ought to be. Let's look at doing first. My friend, you can choose to act in a fashion that is either reliable or unreliable. And believe me, people will notice. You can choose to act or to react to any circumstance that you may face in life. You can choose to act in a fashion that is either rooted and grounded in the Lord Jesus Christ or ungrounded and follow the enemy. My friend, you can choose to affirm or not affirm. You can choose to decide or not to decide. You can manage a crisis or live from one crisis to the next. And it's not if you're going to have a crisis. In this world, you will have crisis from time to time. Jesus said, in this world ye shall have a tribulation. So crisis will come. How you react to the crisis and what you do about it is something that you have to handle. So you can choose to live from one crisis to the next, or uh, you can choose to overcome the crisis and to press on in life. You can choose to serve others or seek to have them serve you. Jesus said the greatest of all is the one who serves. You can choose to submit to a circumstance by choice or to submit without a choice. You see, those are all choices of doing and how we handle things. But now let's look for just a few moments at choices related to being. Now, in life, you can choose to be stable or unstable. Uh, there is stability in life, and that stability is found in none other than the Lord Jesus Christ. You can choose to be a trusting person or an untrusting person. You can choose to be unmoving or moved by consequence. You can choose to be invincible or totally vulnerable to everything that may come your way. You can choose to be unleashed or diminished. You can choose to be pain-free or hurting. You can choose to be a person whose potential is exposed or whose potential remains unused. You must choose. And you can choose to be a calm person and a peaceful person, or you can choose to be a person filled with anxiety. I really like what Jesus said. Enter ye in at the straight gate. The straight gate is the gate that is the narrow way, the right way. But so many see the broad and wide way that would seem to be the right way to go. But the Bible says it's the way that leads to destruction. Find the straight and the narrow and choose wisely. Father, I thank you today that you are a God who allows us to choose the way that we walk. As far as salvation is concerned, Lord, you, you lay it out before us, and then you let us choose. And then there are those who would say that uh, you're a judgmental God, and the Bible teaches that you are a God of judgment. 
but judgmental in the sense, O oh Lord, that uh, you would send someone to an awful hell when people go to hell at their own choosing. Help us to choose the straight gate, the narrow way, and walk with you. Father, bless that one who may be having to choose in a crisis or a terrible circumstance right now. Be with them and help them choose wisely. And we'll give you thanks and praise for your wonderful blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray you'll have a great day in Christ today.